So you want to know how well it cools and how the Arctic Freezer 2 360 sounds. In this video, I'm going to show you just how it sounds with ambient audio so it's realistic to you, not in a quiet room that's not realistic whatsoever. And I'm going to show you a little of the performance, so stay tuned. Whoa, 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 whoa. Make sure to click like, subscribe, and click on the little bell notification. That way you know when I come out with videos just like this. All right, so here we have the EVGA Z390 Dark Motherboard along with the Core i9-9900K processor overclocked to five gigahertz on all cores running at five real gigahertz. Now, also, you know, I'm gonna have in the description below and the pinned comment, my complete component list but aside from that, so I'm cooling it with the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 360 liquid cooling unit. It's an awesome unit. So in this video, I'm going to show you how loud it is. But first off, I wanted to show you in the BIOS real quick, the EVGA Z390 Dark BIOS. So here under Advanced Configuration, I click Enter. And I'm not going to show you the rest of the BIOS. I'm going to save that for the review. But you can see we're at 5 gigahertz true 5 gigahertz nothing below and i'll show you an example later you can see right over here we're at 39 degrees that's pretty much idle and then we have the memory over here and then here under hw monitor configuration now we have smart enabled for cpu fan one and that's where the single PWM controller header is connected to, then if I go under smart fan settings, rather than PWM, which is what I thought originally to use, I found I was getting better temperatures under CPU temperature, letting the CPU control the liquid cooling unit. So here I changed the fan speed and the temperatures, you know, at which the fans rev up to and everything. So. I changed that here. So I'm going to go ahead and boot into Windows real quick. In a second, I'll take up the side panel so that you can hear just how loud it is when we're in Windows. But I do want to show you one thing. This fan back here, which is not part of the liquid cooling unit, is a little bit loud for some reason. I'm not sure why. But just going into the BIOS now. Okay, you're hearing it rev up, so I'm going to go ahead and log in. All right, so now that we're in Windows, I'm going to go ahead and open up HW Monitor. Okay, we can see just booting into Windows was about the cold, the hottest was 45 degrees on a core. It's chilling right now in the 20s. I didn't mean to actually use that pun. You can see here, this is going anywhere between 800 megahertz up to five gigahertz. The reason for that is under my power settings. Under processor power management and minimum, I have 5%. So at a minimum, it'll run at 5% of its clock speed, okay? That way you don't keep your processor hot at all times. Okay, so then now I'm gonna go ahead. I want you to listen to the sound of the system. Okay, so pretty quiet and you heard in between that the little rev up. Now the little rev up actually is not what you think it is. So I'm going to show you real quick. So I'm going to go ahead 
Stress this 100%. And I apologize for the resolution. I'm using the Avermedia Live Gamer Portable 2 Plus. That way I can show you in the BIOS and then also record without affecting CPU speed and temperature. So just listen. Okay. Now we can see here it's jumping up to the 70s. Soon it'll hit 80s. The hottest it's ever been during my testing after eight hours has been 85 degrees. Now it might hit 81 or 82, or actually it might hit 82. We can see down here we're at a true five gigahertz. Eventually this will hit 5,004 some, on some cores or all the cores, but we're at a true five gigahertz, not 4.8 or anything along those lines. Okay, and we're steady at that. It's going to drop anywhere between 4,998 all the way up to 5,004. So we're good there. Okay, now the part that I want to surprise you on, and first off, let me go ahead and take this off so you can hear just how loud it is. Okay, now the liquid cooling is running as well as this fan, these three case fans, and the, this fan here, and in the power supply. Now, and then of course, the little fan over the VRM coolers there. So, now, one thing that you wouldn't have thought is, check this out. So you see just how quiet the liquid cooling is. Then let me go ahead and put the case back, the side panels back on. Okay, that's again at 5 gigahertz. The hottest, the, the package has hit is 83 degrees. One single core has hit 83 degrees. It's still running. You could see here that even though this is shows 83, these cores, they're staying in the 70s. That's a quick spike that it'll hit that temperature. But of course, that's good to know. Now, what I did back there was I disconnected the case fans, at least the power to them. So they still have their RGB, but they're not spinning anymore. And you saw how, how much more quiet that got. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead Put that, those fans back on, so one sec. You see how much louder it gets just with the case fans? So that's also controlled in the BIOS through PWM. So again, I just wanted to show you the temperatures and how loud the Arctic Liquid Freezer 2360 is, overclocked at 5 gigahertz, and I'm sure you can go more. I didn't want to spend too much time and take much more time than I have already. More coming soon. See you guys.